Hey guys, this is Eric, and today we're going to be uh, unboxing a magnetic mount for the Kama 3 and sort of the Kama 2. So um, right now I just have a little video uh, queued up from Cloud J, who um, that's his uh, Discord username, and uh, he's out of Taiwan, and uh, I'll just kind of play like a, a tiny bit of this, but I wanted to show you how high quality this um, mount system is, magnetic mount system. Uh, uses CNC machined aluminum. You can see the path, the tool path, um, a little bit on the video here uh, on the raw aluminum. I believe they're uh, anodized in black um, after the machining. But I'll just kind of give you a little preview right now. And in this video he sent me, he was just um, using a what he called a Tesla meter to measure how strong the magnetic force was. Okay, and then I will just go to the image of what we're going to be expecting here with how the setup looks on a C3. So you can see there is a uh, attachment that goes on the um, mount of the comma three here in this case. And it's uh, got some pins, some pogo pins, and a couple of round magnets. And of course that little assembly connects through a USB cable to the OBD-C port of the C3. So um, it's also compatible with a C2. So here's a picture of a C2 with it on. The, if you use the same cable that he includes, then it's going to be, um, depending on how you connect the cable, it might be a little bit more uh, twisted up like this or kinked up. Um, I don't really recommend using it on a C2 just because this is um, really a premium product and why would you use a premium product on a C2 when we have, um, you know, that's old hardware and C3 is the new hardware and uh, much more expensive as well. So um, anyway, and the other thing is that the uh, mount on a C2 is made out of ABS, 3D printed ABS, which might not hold up to this particular situation as well. So without further ado, let me get to the unboxing. And I've already taken the uh, customs form and all that off, so let's just see what we've got here. Um, so he gave me some extra stuff, just FYI. This is just for me to analyze. Um, so we can just kind of look at this real quick. And it's got the little, these are maybe some prototypes that he was working on. And you can see how this works.
So this one looks like it's more in line with what to expect. And I'm not sure if these are the um, final VHB uh, stickers that he would be including with his kit, but um, I know he said something about he's going to include some uh, custom cut um, VHB. So anyway, it's not like an exotic material or anything you can buy it on. Amazon and these are some little holders in case you want some help uh, holding the cable for routing so I saw how he was using this in a picture and um, everybody's probably gonna do the cable routing a little differently I probably wouldn't be using that on my setup um, and then he gave some cables here so the um, he is pretty uh, adamant about making sure he had the right length cables and these are and with the comma three you've got to have it's very important to have uh, OBD uh, actually they call it OBDC but it's um, based on the uh, USB 3.1 uh, Gen 2 or also known as a 3.2 um, but it needs to have all those separate little pins inside to make all the connections. Um, and more importantly, for the uh, C3, the relevant port here, the um, OBDC port, it's pretty deep, which is why this cable is important. So you can see it goes in there. Uh, I'm not pushing it in yet, but you saw in the preview pick how this is going to connect to a Thing up here so let's see and we've got this this is probably um, gonna go on the windshield side so you know one one part of the mount connects to this the other part of the mount connects to the windshield so you can see why there's two cables required and this must be the actual mount setup in here It's definitely, you know, I suppose I can give first impressions here. It's definitely got some heft to it. You can tell, you know, um, there's just like a feeling you get when you, when you hold something, you can, you can tell it's high quality and, and all that. So this definitely feels really premium. So he's got it carefully wrapped up here so that it doesn't get damaged. So I'm just kind of looking, wow. Okay, I see, so the magnet Magnet is really strong. I mean, this is like seriously strong. He's got like a lot of tissue paper as padding, uh, but it's like <laughs> really sucking uh, together with a lot of magnetic force. Put that down. He's got it pretty protected here. So let's look at this closely. I mean, the, the finish on this is really, really awesome. Feels pretty good. So he's calling this Com Magnet which <laughs> it's an interesting name. I, I understand why he, he's calling it that. I would just be calling it the magnetic mount or, or whatever, but um, this is like really, really nice. This has a lot of heft to it, and this is gonna be what mounts to the windshield, I believe. And let's look at this. This is gonna, I mean, this is like pretty awesome machining there's no plastic on this. 
this is like really solid. And as someone who's made many mounts myself, mostly uh, using resin um, SLA printing, um, I definitely respect the effort that went into this. And now I think he's um, gonna change one of the dimensions or something he had mentioned in the uh, Discord at one point that he was gonna do something like uh, change one, one of the dimensions up a bit. So, and I'm just kind of looking at this before I do anything. So you can see it's got like a, okay, interesting. So it's got uh, connections on both sides of this. I guess it's to maintain some sort of flexibility for the user. So I should be able to just like, oh wow. Yeah, that fits really, really nice. It's not like um, scraping on anything, you know, with like a, a lot of effort, but I know it's gonna use like screws. It's got some screws to tighten this. So I believe these uh, four screws are for um, adjusting the tension onto this. So let me see how, how that also fits on the C2. Yeah, it's a really good fit. Uh, there's two types of um, C2 cases, which is denoted by whether the comma is on this side or this side, but the adjustment screws on this really just make it so that's not too relevant. Because if it, even if it has a tiny play on, depending on which version of the C2 you have, these adjustment screws will make it really solid. So go back to this one here, my C3. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I'll see, um, I'll look at my uh, iFixit kit to see what will fit this. Wow, okay. <laughs> that is so solid. So I don't know if you saw that, but it, wow. That, I mean, it takes, I'm not kidding. This is like really strong. How do you get that off? Wow. So, yeah, that is like incredible. Uh, so <laughs> I'm not wanting to damage this. So I'm gonna like find some plastic, uh, like a guitar pick, and I'll use that to um, pry that apart. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, so this is a, uh, it says 1.5, it's a 1.5 hex, or actually, yeah, 1.5 hex that I was using to disassemble the C3 earlier, so it's the same size as that. So, if you have the iFixit kit, or just have the 1.5 millimeter, Hex, then it should be pretty straightforward. So I need to back that off a bit. Now, these magnets are really strong. It's just really tugging on it. Okay. So you can see. And I'm not paying attention to which way I have it oriented because I'm gonna, I assume that it works both ways. And I'm just, you know, you never want to force anything. So just use a light finger tightness. It's got four connections here. So four screws. So. Wow. 
I can tell this is going to hold on really tight. Okay, feels good. Yeah, it's, it's on there real tight. So I will hook this up, um, put this on my car, on the windshield, and you can see that um, while this one seemed to be double-sided, so that it had the, uh, or I said double-sided, but kind of like double-ended, so it used that. Whereas this one, this has one connection, so it'll just be important to make sure that I have it oriented the way that I want, which in the pictures I've seen it, I believe with that going up towards the uh, lane keep assist camera. So I will get to that and hopefully show you how this mounts on the car. Okay, so now we're in my car, which is a 2017 Prius Prime. I have the standard comma three mount that I had recently put on here. You can see how I marked up the windshield. And this is the uh, C3's um, OBDC cable that came from comma. And I have that hooked in to the camera, uh, this is the camera cover. So I have it kind of going right into where the stock for the mirror goes. Now the way that I saw Cloud J do his is he had it running up through here. But um, let's just make this a little messy um, by taking this apart real quick. And I'm not gonna try making this look all pretty on this initial installation, but I, um, one thing I wanted to point out, point out is that normally when you install the uh, comma device on the windshield, you're gonna be sliding it in like that. So you've gotta have at least an inch or so of clearance between this and the, um, the LCAS camera cover. Uh, in this case, since the magnetic mount will just snap on like that, I can technically mount it higher, like right up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, gonna keep things simple and put the magnetic mount right there. And if I like it, of course I'll like it, but um, I then can just remove this later um, because this will obstruct the, uh, at the very least it'll obstruct the wide camera just a little bit. Okay, so let's see how that works. And it, it'll be like, this is what I'm getting at. So let me take the sticker off. Okay, so I have the windshield mount on with the cable connected from the windshield mount to the harness box. Let's uh, just put it on. Wow. Yeah, like it connects itself for you. It's <laughs> you could be like blind and it wouldn't matter. It would just connect for you. So you can see it's already powering on. And um, as you know, the C3 takes maybe 30 seconds or so to boot up. And uh, one of the nice things with the um, harness box is you could technically be driving without it attached and then connect it and it shouldn't um, crash your car or anything like that. Might do a quick test to see how that goes. But um, when disconnecting this, you definitely want to pull it out at it like an angle, like uh, kind of teeter it out so you can um, fight that magnetic strength more strategically. I'm going to just start the car up here. Nice, okay. So I do have some closing remarks regarding this setup. The uh, first one was that I believe I had the cable connected 
on the wrong side before, which let's say wrong with quotes around it because it was interesting. Um, I found that ignition was only detected when it was connected to one of the two plugs. So I don't know if that was intentional, but I just happened to be lucky when I had it connected before. So I rotated this around and so it was technically connected to this port earlier, but it was on this side and you know, it detected ignition fine. Ignition is what triggers on-road mode. Um, anyway, and then uh, I did want to remark also that, uh, and I might have touched on, on this before, but um, this will have more surface area on the uh, windshield side of the mount. If you, for example, fill in, there's like a void in the middle of that corresponding mount if you fill it in with like epoxy or something uh, then this would have maximum surface um, adhesion so that is the uh, only other thing worth noting um, of course you can tell this is extremely high quality the fit and finish on this is just really outstanding and i could tell that um, cloud j put a lot of effort into this and yeah, I definitely um, can't wait to put some more miles on this. So far, I've just been in the driveway. There's really, I don't see this flying off of the windshield. The, the magnet is, the magnets are just so crazy strong. Um, so that's about it. Um, I'll probably be selling some of these on the community's uh, Discord for sale channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.